We spent the past three rainy days exploring places and searching for bass in between storms. Didn't it say it was 20 feet? It's 20 feet. I don't want to fall. <laughs> Scared the crap out Good. of you. It was a grind, but we managed to find success. Oh, oh. Got one. Got one. That's a fish. Uh oh. We are on our way to the lake right now to hopefully get on some largemouth bass. It's currently overcast, cloudy conditions, it's a little cool outside, and we only have about an hour till sunset. So as soon as we get there, we're gonna get right into it. Let's do this. All right. Kick it off. I think Maddie wants to go with the topwater chopo. Yes, we're gonna go for some topwater action. I'm gonna try out this little brush hog. I do got a moving bait on the other pole. Let me get out of Maddie's way so I don't get smacked upside the head with the chopper. I don't want her first catch to be me. More people pulling in. We don't have a lot of lakes around here, little ponds, whatever you want to call this. It's technically a lake. So the ones we do have get very much overly fished. Oh, that was a bite. Ah, um, oh, I missed it. First bite of the day and I ruined it, I think. Felt little. I didn't let him take long enough. I think he was a peewee. That's a good sign though. It's like a swamp at my feet. So if I do get a fish, it's gonna be interesting getting it in. I'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, oh, I'm getting a bite. It feels really small. Chicken pecks. He's taking it. Ah, oh, too soon. I don't know what's going on with me lately. Just not doing good with hooking up, you know? Well, good news is I did not poke him, I don't think. Well, my hook is out a little bit, so I might have. Come on, I know there's a fish over there. Uh-oh, there's a bite. I'm getting bit. There must be little, because they're not taking it. I'm getting bit pretty good, but he won't take it. He keeps biting and letting go. <sighs> we switch places, same lake, and I'm trying to manifest a monster right now. A monster bass, new PB. Yeah, I figured they'd be kind of near that middle on a cloudy day like today. Oh, oh, oh. Got one. Sorry guys, I knocked my friend out the way. I'm wrapping around that log. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. That's a nice one. That big girl. Okay, okay. Look at that fish, guys. We'll get a quick picture of this pretty baby and let her go. Thank you, pretty girl. Just gonna let this girl go exactly where we caught her from. All right, guys, now that the skunk is off of us, I had to resort to the old faithful dinger. However you can get them, that's how you need to get them. See if we can do that again. Sorry about that, too. When I set that hook, I kind of knocked my camera to the side. fish took it and just ran with it so quick such a good feeling love when you see that line start to straighten out they're just very finicky in this lake oh oh i think i just got a bite i think they're just scattered everywhere right now it's like hard to find them oh there's a bite take it take it take it take it oh i just got a good bite i should set the hook. I didn't want to do it too soon. I just got my first bite. Got one. On the old spinner. I 
the spinner bait. Okay, get out. So the little lake we were going to fish at ended up being really packed, which it is Memorial Day. So we decided to come up the road and just fish a stretch of river. You guys ready to see the view of the mighty James? Beautiful. Taking this little trail and finding a spot on the river. Look how beautiful it is out here though. Let's take a moment to appreciate scenery yeah this is um actually there's i'll show you guys when we get up here there's some spots where george washington either he brought a ship in or i don't know it was something about george washington was here or something i want to get up in there and fish him once so bad Didn't it say it was 20 feet? It's 20 feet deep. Yeah, I don't want to fall. You can still see the hardware where that gate used to be at. I'm just going to go check it out. Check this thing out. Yeah. Ain't no wonder nothing was living in it. It can get up. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to go hit the river up. a bite. Huh? So I'm getting bites. I think. Bite? I think. Either that or snacks. Nope, that's a fish. She really running. I'm trying to. She running, running. Here she comes. You are so teeny tiny. Don't see that. The dinger got it done. It's like the opposite of a perfect hook set. <laughs> That's a cute little tiny baby. We're just gonna get it right on back in the water. Thank you. Oh, you don't have to bite me. Thank you, Pipsqueak. There she goes. All right, guys. So I wasn't filming, unfortunately, but this is fish number two. Very pretty fish. But I'm gonna go ahead and get her right back into the water. Just gonna let her go. Thanks, buddy. There she goes. You guys, we caught another beautiful smallie. The biggest one yet, so let you go ahead and let that beautiful baby go. Oh, and she was ready. Uh oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to get you like that, buddy. Foul hooked him. But. He's still a fish. All right, these little ones are what you gotta watch out for. We're gonna have to do the pliers. Ah, there we go. And he's good. Good to go. We are here exploring new waters. We're actually gonna be fishing a quarry today. Had plans right before, so while we're in the area, we thought we'd come and check it out. We do have our pup with us. That might make things a little bit more complicated. Doesn't really like to stand still for long periods of time. All right guys, Maddie just took her first cast. And, uh, I'm gonna follow right behind her. Do you guys hear any squeaking in the background? It's my dog. This water is so super clear. Let's try right there. Oh, I see a bass right here. Chasing another bass. Let's get this out here. He's right here. Oh. 
Uh, I'm getting a bite. He bit, but he stopped. See? Look. Got one. Ah, oh, come off. It's starting to rain again. Fish on. Now let me reel in. Okay. All right, Maddie's got the fish on the old lipless crankbait. That's like her PB bluegill. God. Look at the size of this right, let me get it monster bluegill. What do you think? <laughs> we'll let you meet it. All right. Holy. What a fish. That is a monster. What do you think, boy? Beautiful oh, fish. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Scared the crap out Good of you. God. <laughs> So I just hooked up with a fish. For some reason, it wasn't filming. Somebody has gut hooked this fish before. For some reason, I thought I was filming the whole time. I caught it over here on this little lipless crankbait. But it turns out I wasn't filming, so I'm just going to get this pretty baby back into the water. And we don't want to injure this guy any further, so and we're not too sure if we could really mess with that. So even though he does have a hook poking out of him, I can feel the tip, and I'm, I'm scared that it could be through something that we can't see. So I don't want to go through his intestines or anything. So we're just going to let him go. He's lived with it, and clearly it's made it all the way down his digestive tract. We're just going to let him finish the process on his own. Thank you, buddy. Beautiful fish. And my first catch at this beautiful, beautiful place.